Hello and welcome to Unrest Digest. It is Sunday, so I might only do just a couple of little videos for you. As not, I think a lot of people tend to be busy in on the weekend. I unfortunately have to work. Anyway, BBC News. Childcare. I cut costs to boost the workforce, says Jer Chancellor Jeremy Hunt. Chancellor has vowed to help reduce the cost of childcare at Wednesday's budget as part of a wider drive to help people into work. Jeremy Hunt told the BBC that costs were stopping some parents taking a job and government can make a big difference to reduce them. Hmm. However, it could be that the, um, some people do not want to work, they'd rather stay at home and look after their children rather than boost the economy. I, I think they have more important things to care about, but that could be some people could want to work and are burdened by childcare costs. Um, one issue is people who are on sort of low income. There are already benefits that help out people with childcare costs. However, I've, I've heard of many stories of people that go to work just to fund the child, cost of their own childcare. So, uh, for example, you go to work, you earn £80 and you spent £60 that day on childcare costs. And it's just like, what is even the point of working? Um, some people really need that £20, so that's, that's the issue. Maybe that could be the problem, is maybe making it easier for people to work from home. Oh, that's another question, sorry, not work from home. To making the economy better for people who want to look after their own child rather than having the state look after them. Whether that be the mother or the father, I, I personally believe that one, one parent should be at home with the child. I understand some people don't want that and they may want cheaper childcare costs. And I don't know how they're going to go about doing this, but I guess we'll read on and find out. He said, for, excuse me, he said further support would be part of a package of measures to break down barriers to entering the workforce. It's got to get everyone working, got to get everyone working. I mean, some people need to go to work and some people are better off not working, in my opinion. Um, I'm not going into who. He said public finances meant the room for tax cuts was limited. Mm, yeah, Jeremy Hunt really doesn't like those tax cuts. Unlike Liz Truss, who came in, tried to give us all a nice little tax cut, would have been nice. But no, Jeremy Hunt didn't like that, and neither did um, the banks. They didn't like her policies, so that's why she was ousted, in my opinion. But we've now got Rishi. Dishy Rishi, as we were once called. I, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see it. Ministers have a lot of heavy lifting to do to make a big impression at the budget against the backdrop of an economy that's still wobbly. How about, yeah, family tax cuts? There we go, right? For example, there's a mother and a father in a, in a home with a child. To help with costs of childcare, if you are in a relationship, maybe you don't have to be married, maybe you've been in a relationship for a year, you've, or a year minimum maybe, maybe a few more, or if you're married and you have a child, and you're and one of the parents is working and the other one is, you know, part working, part with childcare, lower the taxes on, on the working people. Then we've got more money for childcare. For example, if you cut down them, for example, but say the man's working, the mother's at home, and you cut the taxes on the man, he they then have more money to boost the economy or to invest in themselves and their life or to pay for childcare then possibly the mother might want to go back to work I personally don't see how that would necessarily 100% work because many people don't want to work However, but I do agree with um, a tax cut for <laughs> I'm just trying to get a tax cut per, per, per cross <coughs> excuse me yeah just give us a tax cut <laughs> Oh, they're getting into it now, they're getting into it now. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I've got so much stuck in my throat. Oh. Ministers have a lot of heavy, though I've read that already. Conservative backbench MPs are calling for tax cuts as they are not going to get, they are not going to get, whilst Labour is slamming the government's long-term record. Record for what? Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves said her party's plan to secure more investment in green industries could arrest a low-growth spiral in the UK. Yeah. Too much green stuff, not enough tax cuts. You know, oh, you're a right winger. You only care about the billionaires. No, I just want tax cuts for, just for the working class. I, I, you know, I'm the middle class. Just, I mean, I don't mind if you give tax cuts to the rich. It doesn't bother me too much. I'm not going to lie. I just want them for, you know, I care about me personally and those around me. I don't live next to 
the rich, you can increase their taxes or you can reduce their taxes. I don't care. At this point, I mean, there's so much going on. I just don't really care about the millionaire class and the millionaire class. Oh, sorry about that. I don't want to show those off, do I? Actually, I do care about that class. The ones that are exploiting stuff and doing dodgy things or funding a lot of things that are not good for everyone else. That's a long thing to get into. Where are we at? I've lost my place again. When is the budget? I don't care. Actually, maybe I should do it. Under budget plans that have already been announced, the government is expected to pay childcare support to parents on universal credit up front instead of arrears. Uh, instead of arrears as... What? Sorry. To pay childcare support to parents on universal credit up front instead of arrears as now. Okay, now they're paid in arrears. So what? They get child, oh, they get the childcare costs back. Okay, you, uh, yeah, you get kids in for the month in childcare, you get a receipt at the end, basically. I believe that's how that works. I don't know if it's monthly. I mean, if you... Why would you pay childcare costs to get... You're paying somebody to work to look after a child so the other person can then go to work when if you didn't fund that money there would be one person at home with the child I suppose there'd be less people working but you're just paying someone to dig a hole and paying someone else to fill it back up again it's not saving money it's, I don't get what they're trying to do with this except from split kids up from their families um, oh, Jesus maybe I'm wrong the current UK wide £646 a month but per child cap and support for universal credit claims is also expected to be increased by several hundred pounds per child cap. So I'm just trying to work this out because this this actually applies to me and will do. Not, yeah, because I'm having a child myself um, with my partner, obviously not me. I'm not, yeah, you know what I mean? 646 per month per child cap on support. Although I don't really want to be paying someone else to look after my child. If I can help it, I'd rather my partner do that from home. Maybe there should be more options for working from home for people that are uh, looking after a child, possibly. I, I don't know. Rather than it just being the, the something for the privileged elite to have or just the privileged laptop class to be able to work from home and raise a child. What, you know, whilst making the money where somebody will either are forced to go back to work away from their child, it would be nice if there was stuff to do from home. I obviously I don't know I guess there's not quite a market there for anyway I'll get get into it keep reading sorry it is expected to be part of a package of measures designed to reverse a rise in economic inactivity since COVID yeah a lot of that you can a lot of people just retired and a lot of people liked being at home with their kids and decided yeah actually we don't need to have one of us going to uh, both of us going to work we can afford to have one of us at home so what's their plan to ruin the economy to force the other person back into work is it that's how they're blind. Oh, sorry. So a reverse in rise, that including changes to fitness to work tests for those with medical conditions. Oh, okay, this is not very popular, is it? Trying to get those who are trying to say, oh, I'm, I'm, help, uh, I'm injured, I can't work, or, you know, whatever. I don't, I don't really care at this point about stuff like that. I don't, I, I, I see both sides of that argument. Budget is also expected to extend the current level of support for energy bills, limiting costs for a family typical to 2500 a year for a further three months until June. This is like, they're just going to keep pushing this stuff back, isn't it? That's another, that's another whole article. I did do one before and it didn't make any sense. It just it felt like there was just, everyone was being exploited for the, the energy bills. Other measures reportedly under consideration, but not, not yet confirmed, include include continuing a 5p cut to fuel duty taxes to tax free changes to tax free pensions allowances and bringing forward a rise in the pension age uh there's riots in france about that mr Hunt also resisted tory calls for the plan of rise in corporation tax from 19 percent to 25 percent to be cancelled or deferred yeah that's that's gonna have a knock-on effect isn't it you got some money initially but then all the all the uh, corporations will leave this country most likely or they won't come here to invest Tax pressures, downplaying the prospects of major tax cut and budget. Mr. Hunt said it was important to be responsible with the public finances. <laughs> so, very rich. Adding that any cuts would have to be within the bounds of what was responsible. Said conservative cut taxes when they can. 
when they can. Yeah, but cutting taxes boosts the economy. Isn't that the whole point? Oh. Okay, there's an argument either way for this. I get that. While well, ministers would like to help everyone, he added that you can't always do everything at once. Cutting childcare costs has emerged as key political background with the prices in the UK among the highest in the world. Critics say the number of the current level of government support means it's not worth large numbers of parents, even those with middle incomes taking on new or extra work. Okay. Early Years Alliance and Education Charity has welcomed changes for families and benefits, but urged a wider pack of measures to bring down costs for parents. Labour has promised to completely overhaul the system if England takes off if it takes office, saying the current model free childcare hours is broken. The whole system just seems a bit odd to be honest. Oh, there's only a little bit left. Miss Reeves, the Shadow Chancellor, hit out the Conservatives record government low growth, low blah de blah. And there's Joe Oh. She said Labour would take inspiration from US President Joe Biden's package of green subsidies to attract investment to new entry in industries. Uh, subsidising the green stuff, is it? That's just more taxes and stuff. I don't know what they're doing with the money anymore. But I wouldn't take inspiration from Joe Biden on many things, especially climbing stairs. The party said that if it wins power in the next election, it promised eight billion national wealth fund would be tasked with boosting investment into struggling regions. Mm. Ms. Reeves said the government has failed to seize the opportunities of investment in green jobs and found other countries still marching us here in Britain. It feels like we are in the changing room, other countries are in the global race. Yeah, they do. Okay. See, this is the small little dilemma I had. Was I like one parent to be at home looking after the children. However, it's not economically feasible. However, it is for somewhat during my partner's pregnancy. Oh, sorry, after the child is born, for her to stay from home, but then claim benefits because she's off work. I, I also I don't agree with taking money from taxpayers for that. However, back in the day, it was possible for one person to work, to work, and the other parent to raise the child. That was lost when the women got more of a right to work. That was stolen from us, from by the corporations, not the country. So that's so. If we could somehow get that back, like I don't know, I, I feel like the idea of maybe if you want the if you want uh, sorry, if you want women to work in the workforce or men, obviously, then you should pay for them to have children. However, if you do that, they will only hire men. And if they did that, then you can get sued for gender discrimination. Because personally, I believe it should be, especially the major corporations, I don't agree with. I mean, preferably it'd be great if we could pay for ourselves to have one person at home. But if we're going to have to take it from somebody or have it given to, you know, earn, it should be from the corporations, not from the tax payers. It's all complicated, I understand. But anyway, I'm going to end the video there, so I'm not quite sure. I'd love to debate it with someone. My head's a bit fried at the minute. But uh, thank you very much, and yeah, check me out in the next video. Not me, check out the next video. Cheers, thanks.